Welcome back to another Battleborn character preview. Today we are talking about Miko, the mushroom. Miko is an uh, interesting character. Uh, no one knows if Miko is a male or a female. In fact, it's kind of suggested they do not have gender because they are spores. They self-reproduce. Miko is one of the Eldreds, which should not be surprising considering Miko is actually a piece of nature, being a mushroom. The last surviving bud of a planet-spawning fungal colony, the outer, otherworldly Miko is regarded as capable combat botanist, botanist, healing and protecting its allies while hurling poison tip kunai at pretty much anything or pretty much everything else. Uh, before I go much further, if you guys haven't watched videos of Miko, go do that because. The animation alone of the kunai throwing and reload is so freaking beautiful. I want to play Miko just for that animation. It is... they nailed it. It is wonderful, wonderful. Um, with this game, that they have spotted out a lot of times. They have used four times the uh, bone structures in these characters when make them compared to Borderlands, and therefore four times the animation, four times the everything. And you really see it, especially with Miko and that kunai throwing. So to start out, Combat Botany. Miko's primary attack hurls a barrage of poison-tipped kunai, while the second activates a healing beam that restores health to target allies. Miko is kind of one of your support characters. The passive kind of, whatever, shield health ability here. Miko has evolved to adapt and survive through natural toughness, rapid health regeneration, and the ability to cover ground quickly. So, good movement speed, as you see up above, even though these stats are kind of subject to change, and a lot of health regen. So it's kind of getting in and out of combat. Cloud of Spores. Throw a spore sack that explodes on contact, dealing 139 to 187 damage, and leaving behind... A cloud of spores that slows all enemies that enter it for the next four seconds. So some decent, not great damage, but uh, we've seen worse damage. But uh, the slowdown is really nice. So you do that, just unload on kunai or let your teammates do the do the work as you heal them. And then you have biosynthesis. Miko gains 260 to 350 health over five seconds. During that time. Miko's Healing Beam grants 35% more health, so you can heal yourself while healing your allies, which is awesome. This is uh, sounding like a pretty sweet nurse class. Fungi Among Us. Fungus Among Us. Hurl a mushroom to create an area of an effect lasting 45 seconds. Allies gain 83 to 150 health per second while in range, and it can be destroyed by enemies. This is pretty awesome. 45 seconds is a long ass time in a FPS game. And that health regen seems pretty strong considering numbers we've seen. Now, sure, enemies can kill it. So you'll want to kind of protect it a little bit or strategically place it. But... If the enemies are shooting at that, they're also not shooting at you or your teammates. So that's another plus. And then the passive ability. Miko's kunai poisons enemies on impact, dealing 50 to 68 damage over 2 seconds. We don't know the actual damage of the kunai, but that, uh, that definitely helps. Uh, a lot of dot damage. So you dot damage lovers out there, uh, you nurse lovers out there, Miko is totally you and just... Anyone who likes someone interesting and unique, this is that. Moving down to the Helix, first responder. While biosynthesis is active, healing an ally with Miko's health beam causes Miko to move faster. Movement speed, once again, pretty nice and a big uh, part of this game. Uh, much like Evolve, although I don't want to compare this to Evolve because that didn't do that well. Breathe Deep intensifies the slowing effect of Cloud Spores, 100% slower. That's uh, that's a big buff. And again, these numbers are subject to change, but uh, that's pretty huge. Regenerative Aura. 
biosynthesis healing over time effects are extended to nearby allies. That is really damn nice. We don't know what nearby means, and sometimes games with a lot of freedom of movement is hard to do that with enemies or allies, but uh, it's a nice bonus. Heal thyself? Well, biosynthesis active. Healing an ally with Miko's heal beam also heals Miko. So this, if you think about biosynthesis, you heal yourself when you activate that. Your healing beam heals more, and it also heals you double. So you can probably tank through a lot of hits with uh, Heal Thyself. And I'm thinking that almost might be the way to go, because you can stay healthy, and if you can stay healthy, you can heal more. Uh, I kind of like this better on Tier 2. Uh, evolutionary Emergence. Reduces cooldown time across all skills. 15%. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Swift Draw. Increases the reload speed of Nico's Kunai, plus 50% reload speed. From what I've seen of the gameplay, his reload speed is already fairly quick. So with Swift Draw, it'll be like instant. Like You won't even notice a reload speed, most likely. But... Man, cooldown cool down across three skills sounds a little bit better. But 50% is a big number. And you'll be putting out a ton of dots with a molecular. Let's see. Next, we have Tier 4, Trail of Spores. Cloud of Spores... Drop spores along the way to a target covering a larger area. That sounds really cool, because then a lot of the enemies have to come through all that to get to you, which which means they can get massive slowdown and dot damage. Actually, no, Cloud of Sports doesn't have a dot, it just has an initial damage. But, uh, yeah, if you do this 100% slowdown here with Breathe Deep, that will make it really hard for people to get to you, and because you are kind of squishy as Miko... Miko is also Eldred, so no shield, just health. Even though you have the health regen, he's probably going to be a little squishy, so Trail of Spores sounds like a pretty awesome ability. Spore Shock. If Cloud of Spores hits an enemy directly, that enemy is stunned rather than slowing all enemies in the blast radius. I don't know if I actually like that. We'll see how it actually works and what's the difference. Well, that stun, it'll be nice for singular important enemies. You just stop them and you can just crit away, especially if you have snipers or basically just anybody else in your party. But slowing all enemies in a blast radius can be better as well. Depends how many badass enemies are out there versus just kind of trash mobs, I guess. We'll have to wait and see on that. Toxic, toxic Transfusion. A portion of damage dealt to enemy health by molecular mycology is a return to Miko as health, 20% lifesteal. Um, from Borderlands players, which I'm assuming most of you are who watch this channel, we all love lifesteal. Um, we don't know how the scaling of this game is going to work, so you know, 20% in Borderlands was really awesome, but in this game it might not be as good. We will see, but uh, yeah, that sounds pretty cool, especially because you can throw out a lot of kunai fast, and if you do go with a minus 50% reload speed on your kunai, you could have so many dots out there, you can really heal through a lot and tank through a lot. Uh, molecular Mycology's Poison Effect spread to nearby enemies. If you have enough skills where you're staying alive, then Pandemic definitely sounds cooler, just spreading that dot out. Probiotics. Increase the self-healing effects of biosynthesis 15%. Um, yeah, once again, more healing. Very cool. Uh, increases Cloud of Spores impact damage plus 15%. On this one, I might go with that because I it looks like I'd be picking a lot of the other healing skills. So I might just go for some damage with him. With it. Sorry. Flight or or fight or flight. Briefly increases movement speed when taking damage, plus 30% movement speed. 
Most of the stuff they said briefly is two seconds. So hopefully it's a little longer than that so you can actually get away. Or Blade Slinger. Increase the firing rate of Miko's Kunai plus 20% attack speed. I kind of like that. You definitely need some DPS. There's not a lot of DPS skills for Miko. Now if you go with that and the reload speed, which was what, tier 3? Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance your Kunai can do quite a bit, especially with all those dots. And hopefully those dots stack. That'll be the important thing. Um, Bio Synergy. Using Miko's Heal Beam on allies reduces biosynthesis cooldown, allowing more frequent usage, minus 30%. That sounds pretty awesome as well. I have a feeling you'll be using that a decent amount. Uh, just healing enemies as a support character. You heal them. You, re you cool down biosynthesis more often. Biosynthesis is more powerful healing. Well, you have that, and you heal yourself, and yeah, it just biosynergy is named for a reason. It's that sounds really freaking good. Uh, healing prowess increase the duration of biosynthesis effects plus five percent or five seconds. Um, you're doubling the length that that's active. Which also sounds really good. So I don't know which one of these is going to work better. Um, cooldown versus duration. We, I guess, we will see. But uh, both sound pretty sweet. Spore Storm. Enlarges the cloud of spores area of effect. And that sounds, once again, pretty awesome. To slow down enemies, prevent them to go getting to you. Cloud of Spores lingers longer after bursting plus 6 seconds of duration. Going from 4 to 10 seconds is a pretty big deal, especially if you go with, where was that? Trail of Spores. Now you can really make it hard to enemies to get to you, even more so with, so Breathe Deep, Trail of Spores, and Resilient Storm, Strain. Um, that sounds pretty awesome, those three together. I mean, you put out just a massive area of these spore clouds that slow down enemies 100%, which will make them pretty damn slow. Sorry about that. Need some more coffee, I guess. And, yeah, 10 seconds... 10 seconds is a pretty long time in a first-person shooter, and this game looks like it moves really fast, so I really like this. Uh, bark skin. Fungi Among Us. Fungus Among Us. I keep saying that wrong. Fungus Among Us can withstand much more damage before being destroyed, plus 214 max mushroom health. We don't know its actual health, but uh, you know that sounds like a good thing. Uh, I wonder if he can heal that like allies. That would be pretty cool. Fungus Among Us deals damage over time to enemies in range, plus 78 damage per second. That would make it where f the fungus was going to be a major target, because 78 damage per second doesn't sound a lot, but most of these skills in the game that are doing damage over time is like 4 seconds or something pretty small. 45 seconds, you can't let a dot tick for 45 seconds at all, <laughs> no matter any damage it's doing. That's going to absolutely destroy you, especially when you are getting a dot damage on you, The your opponents are getting healed by it, you're going to have to really target that thing. Um, I really like this. I think Miko is going to be one of my favorite players to play. You know, as a Maya player, uh, the slowdown stuff kind of reminds me of like Converge and Phase Lock, just some crowd control. Um, I do like nursing in various games. I do like nursing as Maya. That's part of why I enjoy her. So Miko definitely is on my radar of people to check out and play. I think I have a lot of fun as Miko. And the fact that Miko just looks so cool, just looking at Miko here, but then also the animation of playing Miko looks so awesome. Um, 
yeah, incredibly excited about Miko here. I hope you are too. So, you know, once again, leave me in the comments what you think about this stuff and this game. Uh, if you're excited about it. If you're not excited, even say that. We can discuss that. But, uh, yeah, so comment, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed it yet. And I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.